Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I have another YouTube channel that you girls have to check out, the link is gonna be below. But on this one, what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is the fishtail faux hawk. Now, I posted something like this on Instagram the other week, and everyone gave it a big thumbs up, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you the tutorial today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, to start off this look, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and section a piece of hair out of the front for later. So all I'm gonna do is take almost like a half moon section around the front of her hairline, center of her hairline, I should say, and I'm just gonna go ahead and clip away this section for later. I'm gonna create a nice fishtail braid in this, but not until we're done with the rest. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna take section by section and do little ponytails. So that's what's gonna create our nice faux hawk. So I'm basically just gonna take my fingers and then create a nice section from her hairline to the crown area to the opposite side of her hairline. Now I'm just gonna lightly brush that, just because we want this really nice and smooth on the sides. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and secure that with an elastic. So we've created one ponytail, now I'm gonna do another one. All right, so now I'm just gonna create two more ponytails. Okay, so now I've created four ponytails, so all I'm gonna do now is create fishtail braids inside those ponytails. I'm actually gonna take quite large sections. I don't want the sections in the fishtail to be too small because I'm gonna pull it out and I wanna add a lot of bulk to it. But if we do it too tightly sometimes when you pull that out, it'll cause a lot of frizziness and we wanna avoid that. So all I'm gonna do is create a fishtail technique by splitting the hair in half taking a small section of hair from the right, go up and over to our left, do the same thing on the opposite side, left um, piece of hair, go cross over to our right, and continue that technique until we get to the ends. Okay, you can see that I did quite a large fishtail braid. So now before I secure it with an elastic, I'm simply just gonna pull it out to make it nice and full before adding my elastic bands. Now I've reached my second uh, ponytail. I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with my first one. I'm gonna continue that same technique with my third and fourth um, ponytail as well. All right, so you can see that I've created all of my fishtail braids, so now I'm gonna go ahead and create a fishtail braid in the front section. But what I wanna go ahead and do is backcomb it just ever so slightly at the roots, just for a little bit of lift, because I kinda want like a pompadour kind of feel in the front, so I'm just gonna lightly tease it before I do another fishtail braid. So now I'm just going to go ahead and split this section in half and continue doing a fishtail braid. Now that all of our sections are fully fishtail braided, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is create a shape now. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pin this in a little bit here. I want this to be kind of pompadour -y. So this is just gonna be very visually. So I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it with a bobby pin. So now I'm just gonna take the second one, pin that as well. And we're just going to pin it in the center of the hair. And as I work it down, I'm kind of taking the section, kind of pushing it 
forward a little bit so we don't see that gap and then pinning it at the base and then draping it. Just draping it down over our elastic. I'm gonna go ahead and take the ends of this one, just kind of tuck them under and hide them. So now I'm gonna take this last one and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to go up with it. But first I'm gonna pin it a little bit on the base. That way we hide our elastic and then it's gonna create a lot of volume at the base as well doing this. And then basically we're gonna flip it up. And then again, taking the ends, tucking them under. So what I'm gonna do to finish this look off is I'm just gonna put a little bit of hairspray on the sides and really help smooth it down because I want a smoother texture on the side and then just kind of have this flowy kind of funky texture in the middle here. All right, so there you guys have it, a funky fresh fishtail faux hawk. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to check me out on Instagram for daily hair inspiration, just as cool as this one, at the confessions of a hairstylist, and I'll see you soon.